I was introduced to Dr. Joe's work by a really good friend of mine who had seen that I'd been ill for a number of years. Uh, I had Lyme disease um, starting about six years ago and uh, had that for almost um, three and a half years. Um, did a lot of IVs and things like that and then was starting to come out of that and then I got uh, cancer. And my cancer was um, pretty involved and so I got really um, nuclear chemotherapy and that damaged the nerves in my arms and my legs from what they say permanently. And so I'm in a lot of pain most of the time and I'm on a lot of narcotics and it's made my life uh, pretty untenable between the fatigue and just not being able to get around. In November, I got to a point where the pain was so bad that I just didn't want to live anymore. I was, um, it was a combination of, of just hurting really bad, being really tired, and my, my mind had gotten very angry. I was usually kind of pretty a calm person, but it, my mind, the, the, thought, the thoughts got really mean. And so I'd get up every day to a lot of pain, a lot of fatigue, and then a really nasty mind that was really critical of me and everybody around me. And um, I just didn't like the person I was and I didn't like you know, what I was doing to the people I lived with. I was given the book, um, the uh, placebo book in August, but I didn't read it for a long time. And then I finally read it in November because I was done with everything else and I finally picked it up again. It made some sense to me that I could quiet my mind using some of the, the meditations, thank you, yeah. I needed to stop the pain, and I was desperate. And I think the desperation helped quite a bit, because uh, I decided it's got, it's got to stop. I don't see another way. I wasn't willing to kill myself, and I wasn't willing to go on living. And so the meditations became, I put all my energy into that. And during December, I had a remarkable recovery. I hadn't been to a workshop or anything else. I just read the book and listened to the, the CDs. My energy picked up, so my fatigue was much less and my attitude was much better and I noticed that the, the evil mind stuff, the, the, the negative thoughts started to go down a lot and that helped a ton. Um, my pain got somewhat better. I was going through some specialized IV treatments at Stanford at the same time and so I think they contributed to some of my pain doing better. I'm still in a lot of pain and I still was in quite a bit of pain. Um, but as I went to my first progressive seminar and got a better idea of how the, the um, meditations really work, I was able to focus my energy more on working with my pain. And I was actually able to um, man make my pain go down by using my mind. And that was amazing to me. And it lasted for a couple weeks. And I got really excited, like a lot of people that go to seminars and things like that. And I started doing a bunch of stuff I used to do years ago, right? I go, I'm healed, I'm ready to go, and I crashed. And so February, I just, I went back to bed, I was done, I was out again. And um, I just realized that I'd overdone it and that it has to be a longer process and it's gonna take the time it takes. So I reclutched at the end of February, started again with the meditations. I was still doing the meditations, but you know, slowed everything down, got rested, got my body back into a place where I could do walks again and things like that, and started again. And use this current um, advanced retreat they're at right now in May as a goal, to stay alive, you know, do the meditations every day till May. And that really worked out really well. Um, I think the big thing is that my pain levels are much more manageable than they've been. My anxiety and the way I feel um, about myself and my mind, my mind is a ton quieter. It's completely kind now. I don't have the negative stuff. I was able to go off all my anxiety meds, all my sleeping meds. So the only thing I'm on now is for pain. And um, to me, that was a huge thing because I, it, those anxiety meds are pretty fatiguing, so it was adding to my fatigue and my brain fog. I go in for IVs twice a month at um, Stanford uh, Hospital, and they give me IV lidocaine to help uh, with the nerve stuff. And so they get to see me every two weeks or so, and they've been gossiping a lot about 
what's been going on with me. And I've been telling them about this process and what I've been going through. And they've watched me go from coming in with a snow cap on and you know sweats on and dragging in to being really happy and being chatty with them and and you know being you know more interested in my life. And they've noticed a big difference. And so the, they've been chatting in the back room. There's three nurses that do the IVs, and they all been coming over. And now they kind of congregate and, and have a little conversation with me when I come in. And it's been pretty great. So they're kind of monitoring it too because they haven't seen anything like it before. So I'm not healed in the sense of you know, a miracle type thing, but I think the tools that I'm getting to work with are really sound, and the ones I got at the advanced seminar, I know what I need to do when I go back. And I'm pretty confident I will be healed, that I will, this, this damage that the chemotherapy did, they said is ir, ir, uh, you can't fix it. And so that's what they told me. It was very common for the type of nuclear chemo that I got that people get this damage and that I need to work out some way to manage my pain for the rest of my life. And so um, I don't buy that, and I've seen enough people and talked to enough people that I, I think given enough time, and I will cross that river, and I will be pain-free.